Hello, welcome back to the CPR's kitchen and cooking with me. Today I have another requested videos, guys. Video, guys, this is the next day after I made the brownies. The brownies are gone. My family devoured these. So I'm telling you, your family is gonna love them. Today I'm gonna be making some blondies. And I'm gonna tell you everything I have right here. I have I'm gonna use a cup and a half of butter. I'm gonna use one cup of brown sugar. I have a half a cup of butterscotch morsels with a little bit of uh, the white morsels mix. These are some that I wanna get rid of, so I'm using them, but I would recommend using Ghirardelli white chocolate or almond bark. Those are better and they melt better. These Nestle Toll Houses do not melt good at all, so do not get them. I've tried them in so many different um, recipes and they just don't melt well and they don't leave that lasting, shiny, you know, good, gooey melt when you open up your cookie or brownies or stuff like that. So I won't recommend them, but I'm gonna use them because I gotta get rid of them. Anywho, I have two cups of flour, one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. You can use regular salt. Uh, three teaspoons of vanilla which is a tablespoon and two room temperature eggs and then I also have a third cup of the white morsels that I'm just gonna throw inside of them as well now let me just tell you a trick if you don't have butterscotch morsels which is usually easy to find and my butterscotch morsels are from Aldi's I'm going to be melting them and incorporating them into the brownie now if you do not want to do butterscotch morsels you will add another cup of brown sugar and omit the morsels and you're going to brown your butter on the stove, like kind of cook it a little bit on the stove and then add it to the brown sugar. And that's gonna give you that butterscotch taste. So just a little tip in case you don't have morsels, but you have everything else and you don't wanna add the morsels, you just want that blondie taste. So that's a tip right there. So that's what we're working with today. So let's get started with showing you the first step of what you need to do. So you definitely want to preheat your oven to 350. You want to get you a nine by nine and what i did was coat the bottom with pam and then i put a parchment paper sheet that i cut off of a roll in here and i'm just using regular dollar tree parchment all right guys so this is the double boiler method and what it is is i have my pan on and it is on a four if you have numbers on your stove and i'm going to let that water get nice and hot and i'm going to put my morsels that i want to melt within my um brownies in here and I'm gonna let that go ahead and melt those down. So while that is going, I'm gonna start with the first um, mixing of the ingredients in the bowl. Now the actual butterscotch and white chocolate is melted. And once it get kind of like this, I just take it off because it'll continue um, staying hot from the heat from the water. So I just cut it off and set that to the side till we're ready for it. All right, so now you're gonna take your butter and your brown sugar and you're going to mix them together and this is what causes that butterscotch flavor if you were to cook it so I'm just gonna mix that up well like so incorporate that real nice and good and then we're gonna move along to the next step after we get that butter and sugar mixed together these blondies are so good guys you can put anything you want in these you can add nuts I mean you can add M&Ms for the kids there's so many options you have with making these blondies so now the actual butterscotch and white chocolate is melted and once it get kind of like this I just take it off because it'll continue um, staying hot from the heat from the water so I just cut it off and set that to the side till we're ready for it you want to definitely make sure that this is incorporated really well. So you can get your whisk out if you need to and incorporate the butter and the sugar really well. All right, the next thing is to whisk your eggs inside here. So then whisk that up nice and good with this concoction. Get them mixed really well. Once you get this mixed, you want to add your vanilla and you want to incorporate that as well. So you don't need no mixer, you can do all this together in one bowl. Now guys, once you get that mixed good, you're going to add your two cups of flour and you're going to add your salt. Get all that salt in there. 
All right, so we're gonna mix this up really well. I'm gonna come back once this is mixed really well. All right. All right guys, so I have no clue what happened. I think the camera was actually on when I thought it was off and then when I thought it was off, it was actually on. So yeah, I incorporated the butterscotch mixture here and then we're just gonna move into the next step. And this was after I mixed it very well. All right guys, I don't know what just happened. Okay, so now you're gonna mix all this goodness up like so it's gonna get thick so you gotta mix it well guys and you see even with this the morsels didn't even melt all the way you can kind of see some of the white ones i'm really leery about putting them other ones in here but i want to get rid of them so i'm just gonna throw them in here so let me get my spatula to mix this up and i'll be back I know I wasn't, oh Lord, I thought I was recording. I put the chocolate chips in and I folded them in. I think I, it was backwards on my recording. So all I did was fold them in and I was showing how I ended up using this versus the whisk to get all the goodness and everything incorporated. And so you don't want to over mix it. So once you fold those in, it's time to put them in the pan. All right, so I'm just gonna whip this out into here. And you really don't have to worry about it. It kind of levels out, like I told you guys with the brownie recipe. Once you smooth it in and get it in the pan like it's supposed to, it will level out on it on its own. So don't worry about it. And once you make them, I want you to tell me how good they came out. All right, so let's move these around in the pan. All right, so it is smoothed in the pan and we are getting ready to put this in the oven. that they are out the oven we are going to let them sit here for about 30 35 minutes to cool off before we cut them i know guys y'all want to dig in but wait 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 let them cool off before you dig in so let them cool off and we'll be back next. all right guys so now it is time to cut into these bad boys yes yes see how this comes right out and it is a new one look at them look at them could y'all see them now, if you get a smaller pan, they'll be um, thicker, but it's up to you. And so I like to just cut them in fours, like so. so I'm gonna go boom, boom, and then go again, boom, boom, okay? So we're going to turn these. Let me move this out of the camera. You know what? Let's grab one from the middle so you guys can see these fudgy, tasty blondies. And this is my blondie. Now imagine if that was a Ghirardelli piece of chocolate and you put pecans or M&Ms in here. Amazing. So this is what they look like. Mm -mm -mm. Must try. Must try. I don't like my blondies super sweet. These are just perfect. And what I normally would do is add more white chocolate, but the real chocolate. <laughs> if you want them sweeter, you can add a little bit more brown sugar or you can add more morsels, melted morsels to the mix, but that is the blondie. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys enjoy it. So this is a fudge blondie very tasty mm. hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching and make sure if you have any questions you leave them below and make sure if you're new to the channel you subscribe share the channel and hit those notifications so that way you are notified hit the notification bell that way you're notified every time your girl loads a new video i will see you guys later gators